Eamon Holmes mocked by GB News co-star as he shares health update. Eamon Holmes has faced a lot of mobility issues over the years due to his battle with chronic pain, which has at times left him wheelchair-bound. Eamon Holmes was hilariously ribbed for his choice of footwear, Crocs, which he claims offer him good suspension in the knees. His GB News co-host Ali Costello couldn't hide her shock at Eamon's confession that Crocs are his footwear of choice, teasingly putting him on blast for his fashion faux pas. Despite her playful demands for him to ditch the Crocs, immediately, the North Belfast presenter has a solid reason for his preference. Following a spate of mobility issues that left him in chronic pain and occasionally wheelchair-bound, even during high-profile events like the TRIC Awards earlier this year, Eamon has faced challenges. But on Wednesday's GB News show, he revealed his fondness for Crocs, citing their knee support benefits. Ellie didn't hold back her opinion, exclaiming, I have to draw the line there. That has to be stopped immediately. Their gardening shoes, she further insisted. Never wear them outdoors, ever, reports the mirror. However, Eamon defended his choice. Really? It gives you good suspension in your knees? Ellie isn't the only one who finds the footwear distasteful. Over the years, numerous articles have slammed Crocs as profoundly hideous, grotesque, and objectively ugly, reports the Express. An article from the conversation bemoaned the fact that Gen Z grew up in a world filled with ugly fashion. Despite their controversial appearance, those holy plastic slip-ons might have some upsides, as podiatrist Dr. Vanessa Barrow points out. She told Pure Wow. As we mature, we lose fat in our feet because our collagen starts wearing thin, so Crocs will feel good for people who need that extra cushion. Crocs are also touted to reduce the risk of compressed toes. Yet, Dr. Barrow didn't endorse them for extended periods of standing and cautioned about potential sweating issues. On another note, Eamon Holmes, although suited up for today's GB News segment, hinted at a possible outfit change later, playfully noting he'd been encouraged by several colleagues to don the iconic shorts from his younger days. Ultimately, he announced his decision to resist the call to wear shorts. He also took a lighthearted jab at his mate Paul Coit lamenting over receiving photos of him in nothing but shorts and flip-flops, and humorously questioned, why would anyone want to see him in his shorts? B is your home for all things lifestyle, from health and beauty, to work life and parenting, careers and cooking to fashion and features, and everything in between. So to make sure you don't miss out on the things that matter to you, we've created a brand new newsletter pulling the best of B's content together twice a week. To sign up, Simply enter your email address here and we'll do the rest. Eamon Holmes left flustered as he's grilled on women after Ruth Langsford split. Eamon Holmes has revealed he is often asked to go naked swimming by his female friends in their 40s, but he has so far turned down the offer as he's worried about causing a tsunami. Eamon Holmes got GB News viewers hot under the collar with his recent racy confession while presenting the morning breakfast show. On a GB News segment, the seasoned presenter revealed insights into the risque swimming habits of his acquaintances, admitting that lots of women in their 40s go naked swimming. The 64-year-old discussed openly the idea of skinny dipping, even contemplating the thought himself. Recently separated from Ruth Langsford, Eamon candidly shared, I know lots of women in their 40s or whatever, who would be like, where are you going tonight? Or, oh a group of six of us who would be going to a reservoir or we're going to this wild lake, or whatever it happens to be. He added that he has friends in Northern Ireland who indulge in wild water swimming. I had friends in Northern Ireland and they go wild water swimming. I know this girl who does this and she does this. You look at her and you think, I don't know, this is not me, they do it naked. It's more than naked swimming, they go in the sea and they're older people and they get this huge thrill out of being wild and naked all at the same time. Even putting guest Ellie Costello on the spot, Eamon asked if she would give wild naked swimming a try only to be met with a resounding dismissal. Eamon quipped about his own potential forays into naturist swimming. Well I'm often asked to do it, do you know what I mean, he continued, jokingly alluding to a fear of causing an ecological disturbance. People say, Eamon how much more of you can we see, but I'd worry about displacing so much water at the time. Might cause a tsunami somewhere, so I thought maybe not. The increase in people venturing into open water due to the rising temperatures has sparked a conversation about the dangers of wild swimming and drowning. Earlier, Eamon was teased by Ellie for his choice of footwear, Crocs, which he defended as providing good suspension in the knees. Ellie suggested he should immediately discard them. 
In other news, the presenter recently discussed a significant issue during his divorce from Ruth who will keep their cherished dog, Maggie. While Ruth has been updating fans on Maggie's health, her absence from Eamon's social media has raised eyebrows. The 14-year-old pooch recently had surgery to remove a growth, leading Ruth to post a video of a freshly shaved Maggie after the procedure. Accompanying the videos, Ruth captioned, Maggie had a little wart removed this morning under sedation so she's feeling a bit sorry for herself this afternoon, lots of TLC from mummy required. She expressed her gratitude to St. George's Veterinary Center for taking care of their, thank you, St. George's Veterinary Center, for looking after our precious girl. Eamon took to Instagram today, 22 days later, sharing a picture of himself snuggling with Maggie. He wrote, A lot of you wondering about Maggie. She's had an op to remove a growth. All well. Not bad for a 14-year-old. In fact, she's in better shape than me. Southport riots. Eamon Holmes asks, Why are we attacking police officers? After night of violence, they were heroes two days ago. Merseyside police said eight officers suffered serious injuries after clashing with people causing unrest. GB News presenter Eamon Holmes has hit out after the Southport riots yesterday claiming that the police officers involved were heroes two days ago. Merseyside police said eight officers suffered serious injuries after clashing with people causing unrest by setting cars alight and throwing bricks at a local mosque. Speaking on GB News, Holmes asked, what's changed there, as he fumed over the riots. He said, we had the police as heroes two days ago, what's changed there, what's wrong? What makes people in this country, whether you live in Leeds or whether you live in Southport, think they can attack police officers and burn police vans? My view is when you let it happen once it then becomes the standard thing, we'll just petrol bomb a police car here. We'll do this, it's normal, it won't be a proper riot unless we burn something here. Now the thing is, the only thing that matters here is the families and those three poor children who have died. Also whoever perpetrated that, whoever carried it out and why, that's the only thing we've got to concentrate on. The rest of it is irrelevant. Why are the police now the victims of all of this? Why are we turning our attention and attacking police officers who aren't there to make sure that a killer of these three children wouldn't be apprehended and wouldn't be charged and wouldn't be sentenced, they're there to make sure that person is given all those penalties. Police officers had objects hurled at them by protesters following a vigil for Alice da Silva Aguiar, 9, B.B. King, 6, and Elsie Dot Stancombe, 7. Merseyside police said, a large group of people, believed to be supporters of the English Defense League, began to throw items such as bricks towards the mosque in the seaside town at around 7.45 p.m. Officers put on helmets and riot gear after stones and bottles were launched at them and police vehicles were damaged and set on fire. In a post on social media, the force said shops had been broken into and looted, adding that those responsible will be brought to justice. Elsie's mother, Jenny Stancombe, wrote on Facebook, This is the only thing that I will write, but please please stop the violence in Southport tonight. The police have been nothing but heroic these last 24 hours and they and we don't need this. Chairman of Merseyside Police Federation Chris McGlade said more than 50 officers had been hurt in a sustained and vicious attack. He added, police officers are not robots. We are mothers and fathers, sons and daughters, husbands, wives and partners. We should be going home at the end of our shifts, not to hospital. Eamon Holmes gets hot under the collar while discussing woman who likes to go naked swimming. Eamon Holmes was left flustered as he revealed he knows plenty of women who like to strip off and go swimming while completely naked during his GB News program. Eamon Holmes was left feeling hot under the collar after a skinny dipping admission. The veteran broadcaster admitted he knew lots of women in their 40s who go naked swimming. During a GB News broadcast, the 64-year-old opened up about his friends and the possibility of him stripping off to go swimming in his birthday suit, but Ruth Langsford's ex-husband also revealed he's often asked to join in. Eamon, who recently confirmed his split from Ruth Langsford said, I know lots of women in their 40s or whatever, who would be like, where are you going tonight? Or, oh a group of six of us who would be going to a reservoir or we're going to this wild lake, or whatever it happens to be. I had friends in Northern Ireland and they go wild water swimming. I know this girl who does this and she does this. You look at her and you think, I don't know, this is not me, they do it naked, it's more than naked swimming, they go in the sea and they're older people and they get this huge thrill out of being wild and naked all at the same time. 
Eamon turned to Ellie and asked whether she would consider wild naked swimming, to which she abruptly said she wouldn't, well I'm often asked to do it, do you know what I mean, he revealed, adding, people say, Eamon how much more of you can we see, but I'd worry about displacing so much water at the time. Might cause a tsunami somewhere, so I thought maybe not. It comes after a rise in people heading out into open water following the rising temperatures, as well as a discussion about the risk of swimming in wild water and drowning. Earlier in the day, Eamon was mocked by Costello for his voice of footwear, Crocs, which he claimed offered him, good suspension in the knees, with Ellie saying he should instantly bin them. Meanwhile, the broadcaster recently opened up about one major issue during his divorce from Ruth, who will get their beloved dog, Maggie. While Ruth has kept fans informed on Maggie's condition, fans have been left concerned on her absence from Eamon's social media. The 14-year-old dog had undergone a procedure at the vet to remove a growth, prompting Ruth to share a video earlier this month of Maggie with a shaved back after the operation. Alongside the clips, Ruth wrote in the caption, Maggie had a little wart removed this morning under sedation so she's feeling a bit sorry for herself this afternoon, lots of TLC from mummy required. She added, thank you, St. George's Veterinary Center, for looking after our precious girl. Taking to Instagram today 22 days later with a photo of himself cuddling Maggie, Eamon wrote, a lot of you wondering about Maggie. She's had an op to remove a growth. All well. Not bad for a 14-year-old. In fact, she's in better shape than me.